Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here. This one's doing Injustice Justice Volume 1 Comic Review. Now as you know, we've left off where Aquaman had tried to take over, tried to strike at, at the sea land, but was defeated. Now on to the next part, Part 3. Now it starts off how Barry is in the outbreak, where he's travelling through to see what's been going on in Australia. And so, it turns out, Superman has been trying to make his mark in Australia, saying, I repeat, please return to your homes and places of business, or we will be forced to return to you. Yeah, that's what's going to happen to you, happen. You think you can come here and hover and shove about us all with a skull and come with special powers? Tell you what to do. Oh, I'm sorry, but we have the right to protect... To protest in our own country. I'm going to have to ask you to return to your homes. And despite his best attempts. They pretty much take. Take the uh, this young superhero. And Superman and Wonder Woman. Bash him across the ground. And you can tell the fear in his face. In Barry's shock. Seeing how they're supposed to set a good example. But they've just made things worse. And so Barry watches helplessly. And a guy is just left crippled and badly injured. And Wonder Woman makes them flee, saying, I said disperse. And so Flash decides to get an ambulance, despite Superman and Wonder Woman not doing anything. And Batman says that he's called an ambulance already. And so he tells and he says to them to go to a lab in Australia where it says, I'm a, okay, I'm here. Why am I here? And she said and pretty much the the like the person who was working in the lab says, I heard you were coming. I didn't really believe it is awesome to meet you. I'm Dr. Norris. You said you wanted to know about the kid. The kid? Michael Davis. Galaxal. Galaxal? What does Galaxal mean? I don't know. He made it up. He probably just thought it sounded cool. We didn't expect him back. Choose him for his creative spark, and he points out, and he points out how he was inspired by his heroes. And Barry looks in shock because he knows deep down, this guy looked up to the Just League as heroes, and his heroes pretty much broke him. And so Barry pretty much looks at a dead, a dead kangaroo that was presumably run over, and Barry picks it as Galaxal and is pretty much left feeling ashamed of what just happened. So he takes off to the road to try and set things right. So meanwhile, Batman investigates a dead person, and it turns out that Two-Face has shown up. And Superman shows up just in time to stop Two-Face, saying, Ugh! No! What is it? Hands or tails? And it's kind of implied Superman must have must have allowed Two Face to escape to try and get good press. So Superman talks with the news crew and talks about how they're going to deal with Gotham's criminals, one way or other. So they get ready to set to Arkham, and Damien protests, saying, "Maybe this is for the best. Maybe we can do something, work with these guys." And so, meanwhile. Dick Grayson and Bruce are talking, and so they manage to to bring in Two Face. Batman says they don't get to the side, and turns out Damien let them know they were coming. And Batman looks shocked as the son he had betrayed him. So what happens is that. That soon they set up the security system where Cyborg teleplates all the villains to their own prison. And they teleport Mad Hatter and about to teleport Riddler. And Cyborg and Batman sets a virus into Cyborg. And they try and rescue him. And you can tell Batman doesn't care what happens to Cyborg. Because he's trying to stop him from teleporting the villains. And Dick Grayson being the only reasonable person saying, Okay, that's enough. Everyone, let's just calm down. So Harley Quinn and... and So pretty much, Green Arrow is taking Harley Quinn to prison. 
where one of the guards, Kenneth, points out what's going on, and Harley Quinn manages to take the guard out, and so they release, she tries to release something grandy, and Cyborg's like, it's impossible, as is a rear math firewall, they're completely mirrored at the data center, you freak, you uploaded this virus the first week you met me, and you know Batman doesn't care, because given the fact that he was working with the regime, that's going to make things worse. So pretty much an arrow is fired, and Green Arrow shows up where all the villains are released due to Harley Quinn. <laughs> Yet, you'd think Green Arrow would probably take Harley Quinn to a cell, or bat, or probably Batman to let him know where to take Harley Quinn. Just saying. So a massive earthquake happens where Solomon Grundy shows up, and it does the lead try to take on what's going on, and all the villains are dealing with what's going on. So Green Arrow uses a punching bag arrow. Wonder Woman tries to rescue Damien Wayne. And so they do a so Superman and, and Dick Grayson do a pure powered combo. They take down the arm and Superman flies through him and takes him out. So pretty much he says, You okay? I'm fine. I just hit it under control. And Nightwing's like, oh, of course you did. You were just letting the giant, undead, super strong creature into a false sense of security. And by putting your head in his fist. So, pretty much, Batman points out that they need to take down someone Grundy and return the villain to their cell quickly. So, Batman takes down Damien, I mean, takes down Simon Grundy, and. Night, and pretty much, much. Much Damien Wayne is beating the river helplessly, and so he gets so sick of Dick Grayson, he ends up stupidly hitting him into the head. But instead of him catching it this time, he was uh, he was completely unaware of his surroundings. He's like Nightwing, and he's helplessly knowing that he just killed his foster brother. And pretty much Batman looks. He's like, I, I'm sorry. What did you do? What did you do? I, I didn't mean to get off of him. And you can tell you can tell Batman is lost for words, knowing that the son he had just killed the first son he ever had. So afterwards all the villains and in, in heroes stop their stop their fighting to honor Dick Grayson, and Batman is just broken, lost, and sad, knowing that knowing that the first ever psychic he had and one of the few friends he had is gone. So meanwhile, Catwoman investigates a dead body, and so pretty much break, tries to break into her apartment, where she tries to steal some stuff, but something happens, and it's Superman showing up saying, Catwoman, sorry you've come to help. Thanks for this big bag, it's pretty heavy. And so pretty much Catwoman tries to get away, and pretty much, that Superman realizes that Catwoman is wearing kryptonite earrings, so he tries to burn them off. And so Superman tries to say Bruce needs help. Something happened to him, and you can tell it's just him trying to get sympathy again. I mean, it's one of the few moments where you know Superman's not a dick, but he's just trying to get gain sympathy and trying to say help Bruce. And so he leaves Catwoman alone, where Catwoman goes to Wayne Manor. And where Alfred is drinking his troubles away, and who offers to make her a cup of tea, but Serena says she'll do it. And right now, you can tell Bruce is upset, so upset that he's punching, punching a wooden practice pole so hard that his knuckles are bleeding. He's, he's like, Bruce, Bruce, stop, stop, just for today. Don't be Batman. Don't be the mask. It's okay. Let let it go. Just for the day, you can fall apart. And so me. So after pretty much encouragement, Serena and Bruce get to work, and they're working now with the president to create the insurgency, and try to take on Superman's dangerous threats. So given the fact that the Just League are acting as judge, jury, and executioner, so Batman will recruit every hero he can get. And Serena and Bruce are given files like Huntress and other characters. 
so the, the, the first recruit they get is Black Canary, Green Arrow's lover and sidekick. And then Black Lightning, who's helping helping find homes and people for who are out of Metropolis or vacationing and coming back home from Metropolis. And then the new regime is bo- the regime is born with Aquaman, Captain Adam, Batwoman, Black Lightning, Green Arrow, Black Canary, and also Huntress. Now, I think the only two heavy hitters they've really got is mainly is mainly Captain Adam and Black Lightning, and three of you going to count Aquaman and Green Arrow. So they decide on their plan of attack. He's like. You know why you're all here. Of course. What's our plan of attack? And so, this is the story. What do I think? It's a pretty good story. There are still some nitpicks to go through, but I give this a good thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic review here. Signing out.